Ever wondered how the nocturnal creatures of the night, our mysterious bats, influence the food you eat? Well, prepare to be intrigued. Bats have a significant, often overlooked impact on our food chain, both directly and indirectly. This influence varies depending on the species of bat, their diet, and their environment. Let's dive into some of the ways these fascinating creatures affect our food chain. One of the major roles bats play is in insect pest control. Many bat species have a voracious appetite for insects, feasting on creatures like moths, beetles and mosquitoes. By controlling the population of these agricultural pests, bats help reduce the need for chemical pesticides. This aids in food production and safety, creating a healthier environment for our crops to thrive. There's more to bats than just pest control though. Some species, particularly fruit bats or flying foxes, are vital pollinators for various crops. They play a crucial role in pollinating fruit trees such as durians, mangoes and figs. Their pollination services directly contribute to fruit production, especially in regions where these bats are prevalent. Bats also act as nature's little seed dispersers. When they consume fruits, they disperse seeds across different locations via their droppings. This process aids in forest regeneration and biodiversity, maintaining ecosystems that support the growth of plants used in traditional human diets. Ever heard of bat guano? It's another term for bat droppings, which are rich in nutrients. Historically, bat guano has been used as an organic fertilizer in agriculture, enhancing soil fertility and potentially increasing crop yields and food production. Bats even contribute to disease control. By preying on disease-carrying insects like mosquitoes, they indirectly contribute to human health and food safety. Fewer disease vectors mean a lower risk of vector-borne illnesses, which can affect food security and public health. In a nutshell, bats have a predominantly positive impact on the human food chain. They contribute to insect pest control, crop pollination, seed dispersal, and even fertilization through their guano. However, it's essential to carefully manage and study the potential risks associated with zoonotic diseases carried by bats. This ensures both human health and the conservation of these ecologically valuable creatures. This production is brought to you by Safe Agric Consulting LLC, where your health is our priority. If you find yourself facing food and agricultural problems, don't hesitate to reach out to Safe Agric Consulting. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Ever wondered how bats, those elusive creatures of the night, are hunted? Well, let's delve into some of the intriguing methods used to catch these fascinating mammals. First up is netting. This involves using large nets to capture bats as they fly out of their roosts during the evening. This method is particularly popular among researchers studying bat behavior. Next, we have trapping. Traps designed to capture bats alive are strategically placed near bat roosts or in areas where bats forage for food. Shooting is another method used, especially in the regions where bat hunting is done for sport or food. Firearms such as shotguns are employed to achieve this. Cave harvesting is yet another approach. Some brave souls venture directly into bat roosts situated within caves to collect bats. However, this method can be particularly hazardous to both the hunters and the bats themselves. Lastly, traditional methods of bat hunting are employed by some indigenous communities. These methods often involve specialized tools and techniques passed down through generations, reflecting a deep connection between these communities and their environment. While these methods are fascinating, it's crucial to remember the importance of adhering to local and international wildlife conservation and hygiene regulations when hunting bats or any other wildlife. Due to the potential risks associated with handling bats, especially in regions where zoonotic diseases are prevalent, safety precautions and proper protective measures must always be observed. Switching gears a bit, let's discuss the potential issues associated with bats in urban areas. While bats do provide important ecological benefits, their presence can sometimes pose challenges. For instance, large colonies of bats in urban structures can generate noise and emit odors from their droppings, known as guano. The accumulation of guano can create unpleasant smells and may require regular cleaning and maintenance. There are also health concerns. Bat droppings can contain pathogens that, when disturbed and inhaled, may pose health risks to humans. 
Histoplasmosis, a fungal disease, is one such example associated with bat guano. Structural damage is another issue. Bats can sometimes roost in buildings, particularly in attics, chimneys or wall voids. Their presence can lead to structural damage as they may scratch or gnaw on building materials while entering and exiting. Guano accumulation can not only cause odor issues but also potentially corrode building materials and pose a sanitation concern if not properly managed. And finally, noise disturbance. For individuals living near bat roosts, the noise created by bats can be a nuisance particularly during their active periods at dawn and dusk. In conclusion, while bats are fascinating creatures that play a vital role in our ecosystems, they can also pose challenges, particularly in urban environments. As such, it's crucial to balance the need for conservation with the need to mitigate potential impacts on human health and infrastructure. Have you ever paused to ponder on the significance of bats in our vast ecosystem? Not the superheroes in capes, but the small winged mammals that flutter through our night skies. They may be small, but their contribution to our environment is monumental. Today we'll explore the intriguing ways in which scientists study these fascinating creatures in an effort to conserve their populations. First on our list is acoustic monitoring. This non-invasive method involves the use of ultrasonic detectors to pick up the echolocation calls of bats. Each bat species has a unique vocalization, and by recording these calls, researchers can gather valuable information about their behavior, distribution, and even their species. It's like eavesdropping on a conversation, only this one is between bats. Next, we have mist netting. Imagine a fine, almost invisible net placed strategically in areas where bats are known to be active. As they fly into these nets, they get temporarily entangled, allowing researchers to gently remove them for data collection and tagging. Once the necessary information is gathered, the bats are released unharmed and ready to resume their nightly adventures. The third method is harpoon tracking. No, we're not talking about hunting whales here. In this context, harpoon tracking involves the use of miniature radio transmitters, temporarily attached to bats using tiny harpoon-like tags, these tags enable researchers to track individual bats, observing their movements and behaviors over time. Rest assured, these tags are designed to fall off after a while, ensuring minimal impact on our furry friends. Then we have cave surveys. This method involves a hands-off approach where researchers conduct surveys in caves or other roosting sites. They count and document bat populations, observe their behaviors, and even collect guano, that's bat droppings for those not in the know for further analysis. The fifth method is DNA analysis. Thanks to advances in genetic research, scientists can now study bat populations through non-invasive methods, such as collecting fecal samples or swabs from roosting sites. This method offers insights into species diversity and population structure, all without disturbing a single bat. Last but not least, we have infrared cameras. These devices are used to monitor bat activity in roosting sites or feeding locations. The cameras capture footage in low-light conditions, providing researchers with invaluable data without causing any disturbance to the bats. So the next time you see a bat flitting about in the twilight, remember that there's a whole world of research going on behind the scenes, all aimed at understanding and conserving these vital creatures. They may be small and elusive, but the role they play in our ecosystem is colossal. Finally, this production is brought to you by Safe Agric Consulting, LLC. Your health is our priority. Visit Safe Agric Consulting for all your food and agricultural problems. If you love this video, like, share, and subscribe.